Lux is installing tile on a bathroom floor. She has large and small tiles. The large tiles have an area of five square feet. I'll, hide, I'll underline that in that same color. And the small tiles have an area of two square feet. Two square feet. The total area of the floor is 40 square feet. If L is the number of large tiles used and S is the number of small tiles used, we can write the following equation. Let's see, this makes sense. This is the number of large tiles and the large tiles times five would give you the area of all of the large tiles because it's five square feet per tile times the number of tiles. So that's the area of all the large tiles is 5L. And the area of all of the small tiles is going to be 2s. It's 2 square feet per tile times the number of tiles. And we know that the total area of the floor, so if you add the area of the small tiles and the large tiles, it's going to be 40. So it makes sense that if you add these two things, you get 240. So I agree with everything so far. Now what are they going to ask us to do? Which of these combinations of tiles is exactly enough to cover the whole bathroom floor? So exactly enough to cover the whole bathroom floor. And I'm assuming that because they're saying exactly enough, they don't want even more than the entire bathroom floor. And so to do this, we just need to think of, we just need to substitute these values of tiles and see if this equality actually holds up. So let's look at this first one. Here we have six large tiles. So they're saying L is six and they have five small tiles. So S is five. So let's see if that satisfies it. So if L is six and S is five, will this equality hold? So we're going to have five times six, five times six tiles plus two plus two times five tiles plus two times five small tiles. And this is going to be equal to 30 plus 10. 30 plus 10, which does indeed equal a total of 40 square feet. So this first one does satisfy this equation right over here. Now let's look at the second one. Six large tiles and six small tiles. So this already feels like it's not going to satisfy it because it has the exact same number of large tiles, but it has one more small tile. So it's going to get something larger than 40. And you can check it out right over here. So we're going to have five square feet per large tile times six large tiles. So times six, that's what L is right over here. Plus two square feet per small tile times six small tiles. Well, this is going to be equal to 30 plus 12 plus 12, which is equal to 42, which is not equal to 40. So this is, if they just had, if they just asked us which number of tiles is more than you need, more than enough, then maybe this would have been okay. But they're saying exactly enough. So this is actually too many small tiles here. So I'm not going to check that one. So let's think about seven small tiles and five large tiles. So once again, this feels like it's not going to work. I encourage you to try it out because it's the exact same number of small tiles as we just finished dealing with. It's five, five, oh, let me be careful here. They switched the wording here. So we have to be careful. I don't, I don't want to just line things up. So it's seven small tiles and five large tiles. So let's see if we, let's, let's try this out. Seven small tiles and five large tiles. So this is going to be five square feet, five square feet per large tile times five large tiles. Got to make sure you got your reading comprehension correctly. Plus two square feet per small tile times seven small tiles is going to be equal to so this equals 25 plus 14, which is equal to 39, which is not equal to 40. So that does not satisfy it either. And then finally, have 10 small tiles and four large tiles. So it's going to be, so the four large tiles are going to be a total of five square feet per large tiles times four large tiles. So this is the square footage of the large tiles plus 10 small tiles plus two square feet per small tile times 10 tiles. And so this is the square footage of just the small tiles. You add that with the large tiles. This is going to be equal to 20 plus 20, which does indeed, does indeed equal 40. So this one is also good.